welcome to cybercad solutions in this session i am going to explain few geometric functions which are used in autolysis programming those are distance angle ang toss ang toff and polar distance function is used to find the distance between two points similarly angle function is used to find angle between two points and this angle function returns angle in radians if you want to convert that angle from radians to degrees we can use this angtos function similarly if you want to convert angle from one format that is one unit system to another unit system we can use this angtof generally i use this to convert angle from a string representing angle value in degrees to radians and the polar function is used to calculate or to find a 3d point at specified angle and distance from a point let us see how to use these functions one by one so try to open visual lisp ide so type vl ide at the command prompt and press enter file menu and click new file and go to window menu and click horizontally now we shall take two points p1 and p2 by which we shall try to calculate the distance so i am writing like this set q p1 get point backslash n pick a point and close the double quotes similarly close first parenthesis and the second one now write set q p2 get point backslash n pick second point close the double quotes and parenthesis so if we load these two points we will have two points within the memory with the names of p1 and p2 then to read the distance between these p1 and p2 the syntax will be like this distance first point second point close parenthesis so now try to load the first statement double click at the end of the statement and click load selection now it will lead us to autocad it is asking pick a point i am picking over here now we have got our first point into p1 let us try to load the second statement double click at the end of the statement click load selection now if you see it is asking pick second point i am picking over here now you can see the second point is returned which is already stored in p1 and p2 i have already told you in the previous sessions if you want to check a variable value we have a facility just select that variable right click and select add watch so that a watch window will be opened and the current value of that variable will be displayed in that window similarly select the p2 variable right click and click add watch you can see we have two points those two points are stored with values now if you want to find the distance just select that statement distance point 1 point 2 and click load selection you can see 10 is returned even the 10 can also be stored in a variable let us try to store that one go to home write set q d space and at the end close the parenthesis now if you select this statement and click load selection you can see that value is returned and stored in d you can select the d right click and select add watch just click okay and you can see d has 10 in the memory similarly if you want to find the angle between p1 and p2 just write like this bracket start angle p1 p2 this is the syntax just select the statement and click load selection you can see a value is returned in radians so if you want to store this value into a variable just write like this set q ang and close the start parenthesis now select this statement and click load selection and this value which is the angle between p1 and p2 returned by this statement in terms of radians that is stored in angle so if you want to know it in degrees means if you want to convert this angle from radians to degrees we can use this angtos function let us try to write that one so bracket start 
angtos and ang actually this angtos function has some other optional arguments we will see them later so as of now just simply write angtos and the angle variable just select the statement and click load selection you can see 30 is the angle between p1 and p2 that is returned in the form of a string actually this value is equivalent to the value in degrees but it is in the form of string format similarly if you want to convert angle from degrees to radians we can use this ang top function its syntax is like this ang tof here the argument that is the angle value must be a string that is if you want to convert 90 degrees value into radians just write like this double quote 90 and close so if you load this statement the value of 90 degrees will be returned in radians format just load that statement and you can see 1.5708 that is the value equivalent to 90 degrees in radians like this we can convert angles from one one format to another format now if you want to calculate a point from one point at an angle and distance i mean if you want to find a point which is at a particular angle and distance from another point that can be done by using polar function let us try that one i would like to show you in the drawing let us say I'm drawing a small circle and here another circle. Let us remove all these items. Now, if you want to find this center point of the circle from here, okay, so then the angle between these two points is 30 degrees just before we have seen, and the distance is 10 units. We have already seen in the previous statements that is if you select the d here in the watch window you can see the value of the d is 10 so these points are at 10 degrees distance and at an angle of 30 degrees angle let us try to find those two points i am erasing this circle go to visual studio here i am going to write like this the statement the polar function syntax is like this polar the reference point and the angle to be used and then the distance to be used polar point angle and the distance so the statement will be like this polar the reference point is p1 i mean i want to calculate this p2 point with reference to p1 so p1 is the reference point and the angle is ang tof 30 degrees means this value will be automatically converted into radians just check it out select that particular statement and click load selection you can see the value is returned in radians because this angle is must be in radians so the angle must be in radians okay so polar first point and then the angle in radians and then the distance that is 10 units so a point will be calculated and that will be returned if you want to store it into another variable let us say set q say center point of the circle and close so i am storing the point returned by the polar function into c that's why i have kept set q c over here now if you select this statement and click load selection you can see a point is returned by that function which is already stored into c so now if you try to draw a circle from the c that is take circle command and sorry circle command and it is asking for the center point to give that c as center point you can use exclamation c where we are using the memory of c variable you can see the center point is already taken and it is asking for the radius just enter some radius now if you try to find the distance between these two points using distance function you can see it is 10 units and the angle in the xy plane is 
30 degrees like this if you want to find points with reference to another point we can use this polar function let us try to write a small program to draw a rectangle with given length width and angle so i am removing all these statements and writing the comment program to draw a rectangle with given length width and angle okay then so the program all of you know i think everybody is following my sessions regularly so please try to follow all the sessions regularly then only you can understand the way how to write a program so i am starting like this define c column vr that is rectangle with angle and two empty parentheses press enter and close the define now here i am going to write like this set q p1 uh, let us try to take the first point first of all and then we will ask for length width and angle so the p1 will be the base point or the corner one we can say c1 now write like this get point and double quotes backslash n pick lower left corner and close the double quote close this point and close the first one now set q we have got one point now we are going to ask the user for the length so len is my variable here asking i am i am going to asking for the distance so get dist function i am going to use double quote backslash n and enter the length of the rectangle so here user can pick two points or he can enter distance also just close that statement similarly we can also use c1 over here with respect to c1 he can pick two points similarly set q width get dist and backslash n enter width of the rectangle so we have got length and width now we have to ask for angle set q a n g get angle backslash n enter angle of the rectangle so we have length width and angle as well as the lower left corner so lower left corner we are going to use as a base point we need to find the second corner first of all so for that first of all we have to find three points we have got lower left point we need to find lower right upper right and upper left so my points will be like this okay now try to calculate the four corners of the rectangle so here i would like to mention one thing the cat angle function will return the angle entered by the user in radians so we don't have to convert it again into radians now i am writing like this set q say lower left corner that will be the c1 directly we can assign it to that and then the lower right corner will be polar from lower left the angle is ang which is already entered by the user and the distance is length and the upper right corner is polar from lower right we need to add 90 degrees to the angle of the rectangle that is ang plus ang to of 90 why because the 90 degrees must be given in radians format so i am converting it using ang to of function so this 90 degrees will be converted into radians and it will be added to ang and take care of the parentheses balancing and the distance is width now close the parentheses now upper left similarly polar from lower left angle plus 90 degrees and width so with this the points calculation of four corners is finished 
Now let us use a simple pline command. So command method, command pline lower left, lower right, upper right and upper left and then use close and close the statement. So that's all the program. Now click this button to load the complete program into AutoCAD and go to AutoCAD, use VR command at the command prompt and it is asking to pick the lower left corner. I'm clicking over here and it is asking to enter the length of the rectangle. I'm entering 20 units and it is asking for width of the rectangle. I'm entering 10 units and then it is asking for the angle of the rectangle. I'm just giving 30 degrees. You can see the rectangle with the given inputs that is 20 units length to 10 units width and 30 degrees angle is drawn. This is how we have to write the program. Let us go through the program once again. First of all, we have to take the first point using get point function and then we need to ask the user to enter the length as well as the width and then the angle. This angle can be read by function called get angle and then we have to calculate the four corners. The first corner, the, the point entered by the user can be used as lower left corner. From there, we need to calculate the lower right corner using polar function, angle and length. Similarly, other three points. Then simply use p line command to draw the rectangle. So hope you guys understood the program. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends. Thanks for watching and welcome to the next session. Friends, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends. Thanks for watching and welcome to the next session.